Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am running the newest version of Raspbian powered by Pixel. This is available on raspberrypi.org. I'll leave a link in the description. If you've run the older Raspbian, this might look a little bit different to you, but also the same. They changed a lot of the UI. So the top bar here, we have new icons. They replaced the old browser with Chromium. Really cool. Icons look beautiful. There are a few more additions within the software here, and I haven't got into it. This is actually the very first time that I've ever booted this up. And I just wanted to show you guys because I just went to their website and saw that they announced this, and it looks really cool. This was one of the features I like to see since Hat Emulator. They announced this a few weeks back, and they've now added it. Really, really cool here. There's tons of documentation online if you just want to mess around with it. It's just the Sense Hat emulator. This isn't a controller for the Sense Hat or anything like that. Other than that, I'm not really sure what's new. If you guys have used this, let me know what your new favorite feature is here. Now, I'm excited for the Chromium browser. The old browser was very, very slow and it was incompatible with a lot of stuff I tried to do within the web browser. Hopefully this new Chromium fixes that, but this is really cool. We got the desktop backgrounds. So if you're new to the Raspberry Pi and you boot this up for the first time, you're going to be like, wow, this looks really nice. It's almost, it's Mac-ish, Window-ish, um, and a lot of people want to see that. The older Raspbian looked very plain Jane, and it was kind of intimidating. And I know to a lot of Linux users, it is not intimidating at all, but this just cleans it up and makes it look really really nice let's open up this chromium browser here and we're going to go to youtube let's just see if video playback has improved any now i'm stock i'm at the stock settings i haven't upped the video memory or anything i think it sits at 64 megabyte when you first install raspbian Let's see here. This is uh, 1080p, 60 FPS. Well, right now it's sitting at 720. Let's go to 1080 and see if it can handle it. I don't think it's going to be able to. Smoothly, at least. No, it will not. We're going to go to 720. See if it'll handle it. And I really like to make this full screen because that was a big problem with the older browser. Even 720 was very choppy, and I believe this might be choppy too. You got to remember this is 720 at 60 FPS. If I up the GPU memory a little bit, it may help, but it looks like it's struggling very hard to do video playback on YouTube. That's disappointing. And the video is totally buffered here. Let's go down one more to 480, 30 FPS, and see if that helps. And we're still stuttering at full screen. Now this video is a very smooth video I recorded a while ago in Forza 6. As you can see at 480 it does work good in windowed mode, but when we try to full screen it, really lags out still. I'm going to go through and just run a SunSpider benchmark really quick. This is a Java based browser benchmark. See if we can score any higher than the older version of Raspbian. This is the first release of Raspbian with Pixel, so I expected a few bugs. I was really hoping that video playback would uh, speed up. 1684, not bad. It is faster than the older browser was. Now, I tested this a long time ago with, I think it was two builds back with um, Raspbian, and I scored anywhere from a 2300 to a 2600 with the old browser. We're now at 1684 milliseconds. Not bad. It is a big improvement over the older browser. 
Another cool feature is the option to turn Bluetooth completely off and Wi-Fi completely off. Uh, in the older versions, it, you weren't able to do that for some odd reason. If you guys want to give it a try, there is a link in the description, and I'm going to be messing with this more this week. This looks really nice, and I am a sucker for some beautiful GUI, guys. I don't mind working in the command prompt or a terminal ever, but when it comes to some pretty GUI, I can't get enough of it, and this looks really, really nice. And all they really did was add new icons, but they chose the right ones. We'll open up this uh, file explorer here, file browser, and it does look really nice. I mean, this is very Mac-ish, if, if I could say. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. If you found some new features within this that you really enjoy, let me know which ones you'd like down in the comments below. I haven't had time to explore it much at all. This is the first time I've ever booted it up. I'm going to adjust the GPU memory settings and see if I can get better playback within YouTube and things like that. I will be doing a follow-up video very shortly. Appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Like always, thanks for watching.